Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Storm King flip top petrol lighter with a faux reptile leather wrap. I believe it is actually made of some plastic, vinyl, some synthetic material. The case of the lighter is constructed of aluminum. It is not marked as to where it was manufactured. I believe it is just marked it's windproof. A very cool lighter that dates to at least the transition period from Springfield to uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, but perhaps even earlier than that. Slider shows scuffs, scratches, dings, maybe some dents to the lid, minor bottom is scuffed up a little bit the wrap is in overall very good condition the top does want to ride up or down a little depending on how it is being manipulated or has been manipulated most recently you can see the faux reptile wrap is very attractive and in very good condition appears to be intact if there is any wear or damage to it it is minor marked storm king windproof lighter so not it's windproof maybe that's park lighters that i've seen Mark it's windproof made by the same company Park Industries which we will see in a moment on the insert The hinge is tight, not loose, just a little bit of side to side, but not what I would call loose at all for one of these park lighters. Everything seems to fit flush and nice. There is some. charring and scratching to the windshield. I did pull the wick up and snip it off. See it's marked Precision Made by Park Sherman, Springfield, Illinois, USA, which puts this lighter no later than 1960 or the late 1950s. I believe it was 1960 when they moved to Murfreesboro, Tennessee. from Springfield, Illinois. And this is a heavier gauge metal that the insert is made out of. It is not aluminum. If I were gonna smoke out of this, I would probably change the wick. Seems a little weak. My default, if the wick is light, if the wick will light is to and you know as far as that goes if it functions well or functions fine then I leave them in it but I don't smoke out of all of them either so keep that in mind and also you can I've mentioned this before but you can ask me to change the wick on any lighter that you buy 
if you want to ask me if that's got the original wick in it and you want a newer wick so that you don't have to worry about what kind of materials it may might have been made out of then I will gladly do that for you just let me know when you purchase it before I ship it of course after you get it you can always send it back to me that is no problem at all either that is a standing offer for any lighter that you buy for me I will always re-wick them whatever problem you have with them we will get it fixed get it taken care of so a very nice insert in very good condition from likely the late 50s with these materials it could have been earlier I think with the combination of aluminum case and which really looks like and reminds me of the Murfreesboro lighters that there were aluminum cases way back in um, in the 40s for park industries as well so I don't know I'm just talking I found it in a antique store in West Oklahoma City also found a couple ashtrays there today and it was had a price tag on it that I just couldn't pass on I had I believe an identical lighter to this about four years ago maybe three and a half that had green colored reptile synthetic wrap and I sold that one to the prop company or the prop um, department of a TV show so this one will be listed soon I don't collect Storm King lighters or nothing about this one that would make me put it in my collection but it is a very nice lighter and the next time you go out on the town you get ready to light up whatever it is that you combust rather than pulling a bick out of your pocket if you want to impress the woman you're with or the friend you're with or whoever it might be you might consider pulling something like this out of your pocket to help someone with a light rather than a cheap crappy piece of plastic a lighter like this will make a make an impression on somebody might find yourself loaning them a light all the time as I noted earlier it does show scuffs scratches wear scrapes basic drawer wear it has been used and the wick has been trimmed lights as you would expect though <laughs> with the wind here with the door open beside me until next time